So welcome back ladies. This is part four of the junk journal tutorial and we're going to be putting together or embellishing our signature pages and remember we have five of them. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab your coffee dyed paper and you're going to fold it in half and I found that it's easier if you fold it in half than trying to score it on your scoreboard. Take your burnishing tool and burnish your uh, folded coffee dyed paper. Again, I just suggest that you just do it by hand. Don't use your scoreboard because the paper is so delicate you don't want to tear into it. Now, below this video there's a link to my Amazon account and there is, is a book binding kit that you can purchase there and it has all the neat things that you're going to be able to use to create a junk journal in the future and also for this project. If you don't have that, that's okay. So you're going to need a bone folder, scissors, an awl, or a piercing tool like Tim Holtz's piercing tool. If you don't have that, you can also use a needle. You will be needing a needle and in your kit you have a twine that I've included but if you purchase that Amazon one it has a wax one you'll need a ruler and some glue sticks and also your Fabri-Tac glue and if you plan to do what I'm doing a sewing machine as well and some binder clips that you can purchase at the dollar store for eight it's a pack of eight for about a buck so not a bad deal at all now you guys have all these little strips of scraps that you cut when you were cutting your pages and we're going to be using that and we're going to be creating some patchwork pages so I hope that you guys took the opportunity to make sure that you stained or distressed all your pages this is a an example of what I did with those little strips of scraps that we had left over I use the glue sticks to glue them down because the glue stick is a temporary hold. I took the tags or the tickets and I folded it down as you can see there so that we can have a little tucking mechanism and then I took it to the sewing machine and I stitched my my little patchwork. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how I did that. This is your graphic or your graph paper um, that came in your kit. I just kind of cut that down a little bit and I folded it and I used it throughout the journal as well some of this graph paper so this one here is about two inches where I scored and that's one of the little pockets and then I cut out or trimmed out this little piece that you see there of the graph paper and I have taken some of the scraps that's a piece of music sheet that we had left over when I cut one of my pages down I've taken the glue stick I have applied some of the um, glue stick on the back. Okay. So just go, you want to go a little bit gently on this. Again, the glue stick is a temporary hold. So because it does come apart, so you don't want to trust on that. If you want to permanently glue it down, use your Fabri-Tac or sew it down. So go ahead and place that piece down. And right about now you're going to see that I kind of put that down a little bit crooked so I will have to remove it and that's where it's pretty cool to have the glue stick because it is a temporary hold. And so you're just going to grab some of those scraps and just place them randomly throughout your little pages or your pages. Again, using your glue sticks or your glue stick. Put that a little bit wonky and that's why I have to remove it. And 
And if you happen to glue it down completely, just use some undo. It'll work just as great. Or heat it up just a bit. It'll come undone. Sometimes I get a little bit impatient. I just don't want to pull out a lot of tools. I'm not much of a fan of pulling too many tools out, especially when your workspace is so, you know, you have a small workspace. Not that I have a small workspace, but I have a lot of clutter on my desk. So I hate taking out these extra tools. So keep doing this. Keep applying little scraps of your... Um, pattern paper that we cut off and just randomly place it on there and that's a piece of the music sheet that I just tore up that came in your kit and again you can take some of those pages that came in your kit because you're going to have a lot of leftovers um, tear them up create little um, patchwork with them that's why you have them there just be um, creative. Once you're comfortable with how it's done, uh, how it looks, just glue it down. paper and one of your music sheets now I have a video tutorial already on this in my YouTube channel but I went ahead and explained it again basically you're gonna um, use your glue stick glue this down to your wax paper and you're gonna fold your envelope and create a envelope now I am putting the page upside down so the title of the music sheet is facing down that way when you fold it up everything will be facing the correct way or the right way so position it on your wax paper and try to figure out where you want your folds to be that's what I'm doing here I believe I scored it at one and a half inch. Go ahead and get your glue stick and apply some glue all over this page and glue it straight to the wax paper. Again, temporary fix until we sew it. Yep, yep, yep. Now attach it and I'm leaving about a one eighth of an inch seam. And I will shortly take my scissors and trim all the little extras that you get. Take your bone folder and burnish, 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 burnish. Get any air bubbles out. So you want to go from the center out. For those of you guys, I know that most of you guys are probably paper crafters, but some of, some of you guys aren't. Alright, so trim at about an eighth of an inch from the edge of your music sheet all the way around. Once you've trimmed, then you're going to want to sew. scoreboard and scored at about one half inch to two inch and I did it at one and a half inch and be really gently gentle when you're scoring this because the paper is very thin you don't want to pierce through your paper so about one and a half inch score it fold it and then bring the other end all the way to that score line and that should give you your little envelope. Okay. Now you're going to sew 
all the way around the edges of your envelope and on each side of your, four, your fold line or your score line you're going to sew. I am just putting a little bit of glue on the corners. So fold or sew around the edges and on each side of your score line on right there, there, there. Once you have it all sewn, then you want to sew on the fold it and sew it on the edge there. And you can also glue this, you don't have to sew that. That is a personal preference to you. So again, sew on each side of the score line once you've gone around the perimeter of the envelope pocket. See, that's what it looks like when you have once you have sewn your envelope and you're going to fold it and you'll see the little sew line or the stitches. Now fold it back up and now you see the words are in the right direction. And that's really important. You got to make sure that those words are in the right direction. Okay. Now sew on each side of that little pocket and you can put a bead of glue on the inside if you don't want to sew. I'm going to go right on top of that stitch and sew on each side is what I'm going to do. So here's another page that I've stitched up doing the patchwork technique and you can see that I have sewn my envelope as well. Try to do this all at once, like I said and mentioned earlier. You want to make sure you get all your patchwork done and then go back and sew it all at once so you're not stopping here and there to do these pages. that came in your kit you again you're going to score along the little edges where you see the dashes or the score lines and this is one of the pockets 
that you're going to burnish and fold on the score lines. And I'm basically going to use this as like a little wrap around pocket. So you can see I'm burnishing on the score lines and I'm going to wrap that around that page. at the bottom and you're going to wrap that around one of your coffee dyed papers as I am indicating right there. I do want to point out that you're going to need um, a permanent glue on this portion here, not some uh, glue stick because glue stick eventually will peel off or come off and you're going to lose some of your stuff. So make sure here, um, as you can see, I put the ticket and I use the Fabri-Tac and I've stitched down at the bottom. Now that you've done that, you can move on forward and just attach that to one of your pages. So this is where I'm telling you to use your Fabri-Tac because if you don't, um, I can't stitch around that, but if you don't, you're going to lose. Eventually, it's going to come undone or come off, and you're going to lose some of your ephemera there. So just glue that to the back, and you should be good to go once you've glued that down, and that way um, it just wraps around your entire page there. pocket that you can insert some of your tags and ephemeras to it. So I'm just flushing all my pages together and now I'm going to select a little pocket that's in your kit and there is some score lines or dashes that you can see. You can fold it right there and use your bold folder to burnish that. show you that there is a little spot there you can barely see it. it's a little faint but you can see it around the word let you'll you'll be able to see the little dash and just fold it right along that score line or that fold line and you should be all right 
once you've burnished it you can do one or two things you can glue the edges on each opposite side or you can do what I did which is that I took the sewing machine and made a stitch at the very edge of each side of that little pocket envelope you want to take it and do it right on the edge if you're going to sew and same thing if you're going to add glue okay so now I've sewn my little pocket on each little side you can't see it because my thread is black but I have sewn it and I did it really close to the edge and again, you can glue it if you choose to do so, and that way you can place that in your pages tucked in. Right there, I'm showing you that on the other pocket, you also have your little score lines or your fold lines. Just fold all your little pockets along um, those fold lines, and you can use your bone folders or your nails like I'm doing here. On this one here, I am going to trim it and do it a little bit different. And you'll see that I will cut this pocket in two and make two, two pockets out of one. So once you have it, you can decide where you're placing it to find a page. And then you can trim along that score line and attach it to another page so that way you have two pockets in one. part of the pocket we can use it on another page so save that for another page now here what I've taken is I've took uh, I took one of the music sheets that comes in your kit and I folded it down and I grabbed a tag and I'm just going to place it along the side of that music sheet and that will be tucked into one of the pages like so but I am going to make a stitch along where those two pieces come together and just make a little fold out right there and you will see the stitch here in a bit so just again use your temporary glue which is your glue stick if you're going to sew, if you not, use your fabric tack and that way it's more permanent with the fabric tack. But if you're going to be stitching, again, use your, fat, your glue stick. Run it through your stitching, your sewing machine, and it should be fine. Again, sew right there. And sew on the other side as well. So here is what it looks like once you have sewn your tag to your music sheet. So for this next fold out you're going to use that little index card and I folded it right down where the uh, line is. I thought that the word comment was a good place for you to take notes or write notes on your journal and I attached it to one of my pages for a fold out. Now this is a music sheet that I've scored at two inches I believe and again at four or at six sorry two then at four. You can do however you want just I just kind of fold it on two inches on each side basically. this next little pull out 
I actually took two sheets from your um, kit and I glued those together using my glue stick. Then I went around the edges and I stitched. So I tried to find which of the pages is unique in itself, what message is in it, and then I just try to use that one. And on this one, like I like that one page. So I'm just gonna apply my glue stick again. This is a temporary hole so that I can run it through the machine, the sewing machine, and stitch those edges. And you want to make sure you put enough in the center so that you can burnish uh, those two pieces or this, those two pages once you have sandwiched it in. Apply that on top, align it carefully. Use your bone folder to remove any air bubbles and to carefully burnish those two pieces of paper or pages together. Once you have glued and stitched, you can now decide where you want to fold and here what we're going to do is we're going to stitch around the entire perimeter of your page and then right down on each side of your fold line here run it through your sewing machine and and then you'll have a nice little insert for your book page is again graph paper from your kit I have scored it in various places and you can decide how you want it this one was scored at four and then at six to make a little pull out pages that we glued together and folded I decided to make a little pocket so I'll, not only did I go around the perimeter but I also folded it about two inch and folded it up and made a little pocket just a little extra extra there and that's going to tuck into one of our pages and don't forget to burnish whenever you make a, a score or a fold. Now see that little quarter inch score there, it'll flip a little bit better. I'm gonna grab that pocket that we cut out earlier, attach or apply some glue around the sides and the bottom and glue it down to one of your pages. Just make sure that you're not gluing down your pocket. 
So in this point, you can put a little um, transparency, transparency film, tuck it inside the pocket so it doesn't stick, or maybe a piece of wax paper. That's just so that your pocket doesn't stick, and that way you're securing your pocket. Now I'm flipping through my pages, as you can see, and I'm figuring out how I want everything to go together and this is the point where you got to make sure everything's going in the right direction because once you sew your stitches you're not going to be able to undo it unless you untie your stitch or your signature stitch clip it and put it aside and move on to your next one this is the envelope that came in your kit I scored it in the middle and created another little tucking mechanism and now here I'm taking some of those scraps again those scraps are very helpful and useful you can create beautiful pages um, just applying some of these scraps to your projects and if you again if you don't want to sew these pieces together and create a patchwork. What you can do is just use your permanent glue like I'm doing. See right there, I put that piece with permanent glue. And then just run it through your sewing machine. Now, I found that the best way to do this is get all your patchwork done, get all your pieces together, figure out where you want to sew, and then run it through all your stacks through the sewing machine, one by one, sewing them. Instead of doing one page, going back, putting it together, you know, do it all in one shot and that way you're you're killing time and making the, the project go a little bit more faster speed it up a little I hope that makes sense to you Now this is the file folder that came in your kit and I'm going to stitch around the edges and call it a day with that little file folder that you got and I fold it in half and so that little st stack is done and I'm constantly going back and forth to figure out how I want to do my pages so that's why I constantly flip through and move things around shift it around to make sure that it all goes well and just keep playing okay let me go back to that file folder pull it out because I'm going to decorate it a little bit before I decide to stitch go through my stack of ephemeras I pull out some of those tabs now those tabs you can put it on or place them on your cover pages or on your inside pages and I decided to use them on my inside pages and you should have five little tabs so throughout my little book I place them in the inside copy die pages now I'm going to tuck in a few little ephemeras here and there and then I'll run a stitch down the edge of these of this file folder and this page Again, use your temporary glue because we are stitching down what we can. Now that little piece there, what I'm going to do, since I joined those two, I'm going to stitch right in the center and then put my temporary glue on the one edge and then go back and sew that one down. So now I'm going to make a stitch going straight down where that Jane Austen is. That way we have a little tuck pocket there. So you should be checking all your signature pages or all your coffee dyed pages and your stacks to make sure everything is going right the way you want it.